Good morning, a very good morning, in fact, from Ibiza. I've literally spent the last two hours cleaning my whole house, taking pictures of everything. My bedroom's probably the best I've ever seen it. Look at my bedroom. It looks amazing. We've even got this door open out onto the balcony. So, you're probably wondering, Louis, why have you been tidying your house for so long? Well, it's because I'm officially leaving. You guys didn't know what I was doing. You didn't know if I was going to Madrid, if I was actually leaving Ibiza. Why am I leaving Ibiza? The reason I'm leaving is because I need a change of scenery. I absolutely love it here. I'll probably 100% be coming back next summer, but I've been here for nearly two years now and I haven't left. So, time to change it up. I'm gonna introduce you to two new, well, they're not, they're not officially new to the channel, but they're officially, well, I'm just gonna officially introduce them because they were actually in one of my last videos but I never got to properly introduce them. So, boys, get some sunlight here. Get in. What's going on, everybody? Oh, we have James. James, quick introduction. How old are you? Where are you from? What's up? My name's James Potter. I own a software company, 26 years young, and uh, living life like beef for a little bit, so. And what height are you just so, I don't look so small? I'm 5'11". No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> what actually are you? I'm 6'4". Four. 6'4". Four. Yeah. James is literally massive. Jake, quick introduction. My name's Jake, I am 19 from near Manchester and I work in sales at the minute but passion is in fitness. Very nice. So, both these boys are on my creator club. I met them for the first time a couple of weeks ago when they came to Ibiza. Cindy is in Madrid, obviously, so I have three weeks here and I didn't want to spend them alone. So I thought, fly these two out and we'll basically just make a load of sick content together. Have so, what we're going to do, first things first, these two are super motivated. James has literally been motivating me. We're going to weigh ourselves in. We're gonna get the scales. Let's get the scales out. I have not weighed myself, I would say, for six or seven months. So this is gonna be interesting. We're gonna weigh ourselves, and we're gonna set some goals for the next three weeks. Me and Jake specifically are gonna try and lose three kilograms, so one kilogram a week. James, what? what's your plan? Also the same? Yeah, I think so. Get a little bit more shredded. I wanna get my squat up, though. That's the goal. There you have it. Right, so let's weigh in. Right, moment of truth. I've got my Apple Watch on and my wood button, but we'll keep the variables the same. Cap as well, when I step back on these in three weeks time. What? Easy. Oh my God, 83.8 kilograms. Come here, Jakey boy, show that. Flip, we'll flip the screen. I literally can't believe it. <laughs> that is the lowest I've weighed, probably in six years. Not bad. And you've not had a morning shit. And I've not had a morning shit. That's insane, but wait, let me just check. Because sometimes we just put these in other places. I think it depends on how hard the surface is. No, 83.8 again. Probably don't look the sh most shredded that I've ever been. But I think the reason why I'm weighing so little at the minute is because I've probably lost a lot of muscle because I haven't been weight training consistently. So, if I can get that down to like 80 kilograms, 81 kilograms, I reckon I'll be shredded. So let's try it. Jakey boy, you're next. 79.1. 79.1. Very nice. James? I'll aim for 77. Okay. In three weeks. All right, here we go. Nice, what are we saying? 101.5. Okay, 98. 98? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I picked the boys up from the airport yesterday and we got stuck straight into our regime, which is gonna be running, training, lifting, eating good. So I'll give you a quick flashback to what we did yesterday and then we'll continue with today's video. Also, there's two parties left. It's not quite the end of October yet. There's Boho Beach House Party, which is tonight, which I might tempt the boys into. And then there's Solomon Closing Party, on the 15th of October, the finale. So, I'm just gonna spend the next 24, 48 hours with the boys and bring you guys along. Hope you enjoy the video. Let's rewind to yesterday. Let's go nice and slow. I just need one night Where it just feels right The stars are aligned We do what we like I just need one night Where it just feels right
good job. How was it, first one? Okay. Oh, last last kilometre was hard, but that's okay. <sighs> Oh. Please don't smoke cigarettes. Daddy, I thought I lost you. There we go. Very aesthetic. If anyone knows what vegetable this is, this is what it looks like. Rose and berries. Tomorrow's. Maxi tortillas. The best. So you love choice food. What one? This one. Get it. Huh? The best. Get it. Very good Mercadona shop done. 140 euros. Enough food to last us between four or five days. So we think. Now we're gonna go home, smash some bowls of cereal and then hit the second session of the day, which is gonna be a weight session. Good work, boys. Does anyone oh, want egg whites? You don't drink them, you fry them, I think. Yeah, I love egg whites. Right. Yeah, so, James, them. boys, this is our fridge right now. Looks a bit shit. I'm gonna organize it nicely. In and three, then... two, wait, give us a countdown. In three, two, one. And here we have it, our complete fridge, which, to be honest, doesn't actually look the best because there are no cervezas. That's what they give you in prison. Protein yogurt on chocolate pick. <laughs> what type of prison? <laughs> and what have you got? Protein shake and chocolate pick. Okay, so I'm not mixing my chocolate pick with anything strange like them too. I'm just going for normal chocolate pick with almond milk, ready for a big shoulder and tricep session. My doms, me and James, well, me and James trained chest the other day. Me and Jake, me, Jake and James trained back yesterday. Honestly, the doms are literally insane. Mmm. Up, bro? Good. Yeah. Took a bit of getting used to, but yeah, enjoyed it. Felt Good. nice. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. it. Session complete. Good, shit, bro. Now Good job. Double session. Now, it's time to cook. cook. Yeah. Let's see who's the best cook out of all of us. I'm probably going to say James. Would you, would you uh, James. Yeah. come dine with me? Sure. Yeah. We're Let's useless, me and Louis. Let's see what James can cook first. Okay guys, so we are back to the present day and yesterday was amazing. So happy to have the boys here. So motivated to be honest. Running, gym sesh, all in the same day. My sleep has been amazing. My whoop scores have been green. Life is good. Right now, I am meeting Ryan in Passion. There he is, waving at me. And Ryan also teaches yoga. He's doing like, I'm trying to help Ryan with his content and all that stuff. So let's get out and see Ryan. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Everyone's happy to see Ryan. Ryan always has the biggest smile on his face. <laughs> Fully stirred up. Is it with honey or with agave? It's manuka, manuka honey. Nice. Ginger shot. Cheers. Chin chin. 
Oh. That is the best ever, I think. One or sometimes one yeah. and a half. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, so me and Ryan are still at Passion, enjoying ourselves. We've now got a little mini cheesecake and a keto bowl. Keto bowl. So. I don't think it's one's keto. Is it not? I don't think so. I think it's one of the full. I'm gonna try the cheesecake. I've never tried the cheesecake. It looks good. Kevin gets his cheesecake nearly every day. How is it? It's good. Not keto though. <laughs> Coconut and dates. Mm. Wow. Do you like sweet or savory? Sweet. Yeah, because we've had acai bowls already. Now we're having more sweet things, desserts, but that is wow. unbelievable. I haven't had cheesecake for a long time. Wow. Me and Ryan are talking about how Ryan can step it up, get on YouTube, Instagram consistently, because I think Ryan's. I was just telling them it's persona, it's so good, it's relaxing, it's common. I think you're a good role model. I think that your way of life, the way of you, the way you live your life is so nice and just, I think a lot of people could learn a lot from you. So, everyone, let's tell Ryan, comment down below, tell Ryan to get on YouTube. Actually, what we have to do, we've got just over two weeks until, you have to get your first video on YouTube. In two weeks. Before the end of October. Deal. 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 Right? We're going to hold him to it as Deal. well. Go and follow Ryan on Instagram. Make sure he's putting Thank out you YouTube videos because... Few words. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Cool. We'll do a fist bump. There we go. Okay. Right, guys. Tonight, we are eating in one of my favorite sushi restaurants in Ibiza. The reason it's my favorite is because it's very affordable in comparison to other sushi, re su 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 sushi restaurants in Ibiza. It's called Unami, it's in San Jordi. We've got James, we've got Jake, and we're meeting Kev. We haven't seen Kev for a while, so come on guys, vamos. I'll show you. I'll show you about the place. Free. Well, man, reveal yourself. <laughs> there he is. There we go, how are we doing, sir? Uncle Kev's back. Kev's been ill for three weeks, Nothing. literally. <laughs> and to be honest, for the last three days, feeling a lot better. Glad to be here. I'm happy to have Kev back in my life, because he's been away. How's, how's one from the last four? Week and it's been a pain in the hole. A lot of nice places, but just painful process, isn't it? How are you finding the houses, Kev? Idealist. Very nice, yeah. Idealist. Very nice options. Just a bit of a pain in the hole dealing with real estate people. You know? Nothing worse than a pain in the hole, is there, Jake? <laughs> <laughs> but guys, so Kevin is taking my advice. Well, it's actually his own decision. But staying here in the beef for the winter. To me, for me personally, it is the best time. I'm just ready to try something new. Kev's first winter. Every in single sign I've got so far is that it's better during the winter. Like September and October have been the best. So far. It is October right now. The vibe is immaculate. Yeah. Oof! And look what we have right here. A grande cerveza. <laughs> Beautiful. Salute. Enjoy. Salute. No alcohol for Kevies. No. Kev's, in. Kev's also doing six months sober. Possibly seven. Possibly seven. Possibly seven. Why, why the month increase? Uh, because there'll be nothing happening in April anyway. Yeah, fair. Also, just realised that my hair looks absolutely shit, so excuse it. It doesn't, man. It's, right. it's on a mad one. It's very like Jedward. Ask. <laughs> That's the look you always go for. Man. Well, yeah, I guess. Kevin's very happy, but we're not going to disclose the reason for now. For now. For now. But on a completely uh, separate note, <laughs> some of you might be dating some girls that might be into spirituality, numerology, etc., that kind of stuff. And a lot of people think it's all woo woo. It might be hot, but why is she asking me about my star sign? I just want to smash. And you just got to think about it, right? I believe in that stuff personally, and you might think it's all woo-woo, blah, blah, blah. And yes, it is woo-woo, it's all bullshit. But if you take value from it, and you change your behaviours accordingly, and it changes your reality, then it does have some realism to it, right? So, everything has value. I agree. Placebo agree? effect. Placebo effect. Uh, what do you think, Jake? You, man. What do you think, Jake? I believe it. I think, James I think he's, I think he's right. on camera. James's voice is very good on camera. Me well, too. I'm seeing it live, but I, it sounds very good. Very nice. Big bowl of miso. Sushi looks very good. 
You get one of them guy hoses, don't you? Is it actually bad luck to stab with chopsticks? Yeah, it is, man. Right? Do we teach you how to do it? Fuck, that's what happens, so. <laughs> exactly. Right, go on, Jakey. What do you think of that? Oh, mate, it's full Mix of the pain. 8 out of 10. 8 out, eight out of 10. 10. Shit, I've had shit, better guy hoses in my side. James has shown us how to use chopsticks, but. Yeah, but it's completely fucking falling apart. So wow. Man. Try, my, try this one. See if I can do this properly. Mm. Got it. <laughs> I think that's equally as nice. Do you think? It's tuna, yeah. I would got say nice they're both equally as nice, yeah. Yeah. Lovely. Lovely boys. And Kevin just got himself a dessert. And a matcha tea. A man of day. Nice. <laughs> the sushi was unbelievable. But I think this is gonna be the job. Wait, Jake, I'll go first then you're right. Three, two. Unbelievable. Let's get all up in there. How is it? <laughs> oh, unreal, isn't it? Unreal, art. Meat literally is always, so meat good. Meat is always better than fish. Always. Mm. Yeah, always. Okay, folks. So there we have it. Affordable sushi in a beefer. Unfortunately, once again, no ramen. We're really looking forward to that. But never mind. It's not the end of the world. If you want to come to it, it's called Unami. It's in San Jordi. Make sure you book a table. It's always very busy. And yeah, so that's another one of my favorite restaurants. Did you like it, boys? It was amazing. Loved it. Loved it. Oh. Oh. oh, we need to get agua. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely.